So we'll start here with the aorta, okay, 13, the aorta. Then we'll move down here, we'll do pulmonary um, arteries, which is 15, the blue. Remember, pulmonaries are opposite, blue for arteries and red for veins. 16 will be the pulmonary veins, okay. Then we'll come back over here. This is the pulmonary trunk, number nine, that branches to become the pulmonary artery for the right, I'm sorry, for the left, and then the right. Um, five is the superior vena cava. Down here, number six is the inferior vena cava. Roman numeral seven is the descending or abdominal portion of the aorta, abdominal aorta, Roman numeral seven. And there are several branches of this that then supply nutrients, will supply blood to the abdominal um, organs as well as the pelvic organs. This is the, I think it's got a 28 on it, it's the celiac trunk. It's been kind of chopped off, but that's how we'll label it. Then we'll go over here to the liver. Hepatic means liver, so we have a hepatic artery. That one, a proper hepatic artery, that's supposed to have a 19 on it. And then number 20 is the hepatic portal vein. Um, it's the purple portal. And then the, um, oh, the hepatic vein is supposed to have, I can't see it, a 21, okay, right here. Then we can come over here to the spleen, and um, splenic artery is 17. And then the splenic vein is right here, and that one is um, 18. I can't see the numbers on these, but anyway, so artery and vein for the spleen. And then we'll come down and we'll do um, mesenteric for the intestines. Um, there is a superior mesenteric actually right here. Okay, number 24 is the superior mesenteric. 25 is the inferior mesenteric. And then, oh, those are arteries, I'm sorry, arteries, red. And then the veins are here. The um, superior mesenteric vein is number 26, follows down to there. And then 20, not sure what that's supposed to be, but this is the inferior mesenteric. Um, it is 27, okay, inferior mesenteric. And then right here, okay, right here, 29, there's an arrow, so here and here, those are the ovarian um, or testicular arteries, okay, depending on if it's male or female. Okay, and then we'll move down, um, and we will do 30 is the common iliac, 31 is the external iliac, 32 is the internal iliac, artery, all of those are arteries. Um, and then this is the median sacral artery, number 33. Okay, um, the femoral artery, the number has rubbed off. Um, the femoral artery is supposed to be 62 right here. Um, the deep femoral or femoral profunda is 63. This is the great saphenous vein, 69. Okay, we're going to follow this around. Well, let's come down. Let's follow this um, femoral artery down. 64 is the popliteal artery. Okay, and then we can come down and grab 65 is the posterior tibial artery. 66 is the anterior tibial artery. You can come over here and get the small saphenous, okay? Then we can do 67, the dorsal artery of the foot, and then we can do this venous dorsal arch of the foot, okay, 68. And we can, while we're on that note, we can go to the palm, and we can do the superficial palmar arch, 56, and the deep palmar arch 57, okay? And then we'll go up, I think we'll go up to this area. We'll do the neck and the head and come back to the arms. So we have, um, this is the common carotid, common carotid, looks like it has a 34 on it. Yeah. Okay, and then it separates into an external carotid, looks like it has got a 36 on it, and then 35, an internal, going into the skull, internal carotid, okay, artery. And then our jugulars are separate branches. So we have an external jugular, and that one, I don't see external, it's 45 on it. And then there's an internal jugular, I think it's got 44, but the internal jugular is the larger one going into the skull. Um, and then we can grab right here, this is the superior thyroid artery, this is the inferior thyroid artery can come up. Number 40 is the occipital artery. 41, the posterior auricular artery. Um, 38 is the lingual artery. 39 here is the facial artery. 
Okay, 42 here is the maxillary artery. And the 43 is the superficial temporal artery. Okay, we'll go here. Um, this is um, called, uh, well, let's go, let's start here. Let's go down the arm. 44 is the subclavian artery. Okay, this is an artery that branches to the acromial region and then into the thoracic region. So this is the thoracoacromial artery. Then we follow this subclavian down. This is the axillary portion. What number? That looks like a 50. I think that one's 51, the thoracoacromial. 50 um, for the axillary artery. We follow that down. 52 becomes the brachial artery. 53, the deep brachial or brachial profunda. Um, over here, that's a 59, and that is the cephalic vein. Um, 60 is the um, basilic, it's labeled kind of better over here to match what we've done on the other model. So, so, I mean, so the basilic vein here. Then we can get that median cubital vein, okay, 51. And then we have the ulnar artery here, okay, 55 on the ulna. And then 54 is the radial artery, okay, on the radius. Um, and then this is the, <clears throat> going back to here, the thyrocervical trunk, okay? So it's supplying to the thyroid, that inferior thyroid artery. Um, <clears throat> so thyroid and then cervical, it means into the neck, okay, for this portion. Okay, and I think that that was 